Hey everyone, Burton's back. Once again we are playing Total War Arena. We've just gone ahead and got ourselves a quick victory. We're still playing as Alexander and the good thing is it looks like we have a couple of things that we can actually level up. So first things first, you can see here we have a Commander XP. 1,121 of them. Right now we're level 4. Two more upgrades, we get to level 5. Now the upgrades yourself, you can see here, they're going to cost us a small amount of um, Commander XP. The only downside to doing this is if you have a look here, you have to find a little bit of a balance in that. Because even though we're on 4 right now, we're playing as these guys, the Hopperlites. We've been unable to unlock any of the Levi Spearmen. And if we go up too soon to level 5, we are not going to be able to get any of these guys. So the good thing is, it's you have to decide where you want to spend your Commander XP. Now what I want to spend it is, I think what we're going to go ahead and do is leave this for now. In fact, you know what? We're going to put some into Rapid Advance. It's always good to have speed. We've got Hammer, which is a, a nice little uh, high damage charge. It's good if you're wanting to get out of areas in a flash. But we'll try Rapid Advance as well. So that's going to take us down a little bit. You see that increases to two. One more will pop up another level, but we're not going to spend those points just yet. We also has the average... Um, well, the average, the option with our um, Hoplites. And on these, we have already upgraded them somewhat. We've gone ahead for Bronze Greaves, so we've got them a little bit more speed. If we wanted to, we can get them the Armor Upgrade, and we can get them the Helmet Upgrade. Now, when you're having a look at this XP here, when it's the wings and the wings are cast down, as opposed to the wings that are spread out and cast upwards, that is Unit XP. So we can feel free to go ahead and use that, because we've got 662 of them. I'm going to go for the Defense here. You get the choice. I could use Commander XP if I wanted. I'm not going to. I'm going to use the Unit XP. Once again, let's go ahead and we'll use it as well to get ourselves the Red Corinthian Helmet. And that's us all updated. Now, because we're using units we actually pay for, we do have to replenish all units after a battle. So that's it. You also have the option to go through some consumables as well. Um, I'm not going to do any of that right this moment. I'm just going to quickly try and level these guys up as quickly Follow as we me, can. Men, to the edge of the world. So, so far we've been playing on the Greek side of things. I've not gone too much at all, if anything, in regards to the Roman side. That's something we might have a look at in the future, but right now I'm enjoying learning how to play as the Greeks. The good thing about the closed alpha itself is there's still a lot of people playing it. In the last video I showed you me playing out of my depth a little bit. I was against people who were much higher tiered than me. But that wasn't down to the matchmaking. That was only due to the fact I was in a party with Jackie Fish who is a much higher level than I am. As you can see on here, um, we're going full 10 versus 10. And in a moment, we're going to find out who it is we're battling in Thermopylae. And what sort of level they're at. And more importantly, who our teammates are and what they're bringing to the role here. So we're just waiting for other people to join right this moment. And um, so far, I'm enjoying this. For those of you who don't know, Closed Alpha, there's a link in the description if you want to go and try and get yourself into this. I know they're giving out keys quite a lot as well now, which is great. So far, there's three maps, but there is a patch coming very soon as well. So that'll be good. Hopefully, it'll have a bit more balancing. Right now, we have somewhat overpowered um, missiles and somewhat overpowered cavalry, I'm finding at the moment. Besides that, I think it's it's good. There's balancing that is going to happen in the future. But the good thing is that um, the community is is communicating about it. So it's still taking on average about three or four minutes to get into a match. It wasn't too long at all there. So here we go. So we've got the, the hot gates down here. As you can see, we're going with our three um, spear. And we do have some artillery, which is good. You see these little points next to the spear, it shows how much they've actually upgraded the unit itself. So the artillery has only got a basic upgrade. They'll be hanging back a little bit. It looks like we're mainly going right, so we've got a lot of people planning on heading down this way. Now we do have um, artillery. Now I assume that they're going to try and get up here. So what we're going to do is try and support them a little bit. We're going to go with place number 10. So what we'll do, let's just use the tool here. And see if he's actually going up here.
Now hopefully in one of the patches in the future they'll actually add some voice communication into this, make things a lot better. Um, Alright, he's telling me he's going that way, that is perfectly fine. So what we'll do, we'll support them and we'll follow up that way as well. So as usual we're going to go in our standard formation, we're going to have our general at the back. And we're just going to go this way. Now normally on this one, a uh, big battle ensues down here. We've got a forest on this side to keep an eye out for. Hot gates is not going to be our concern. We're concentrating on the left flank. What we don't want to happen is someone come through this forest and just hit us in the rear. We don't want that. So let's get up here as quickly as we can and see what we find. If you hit tab, you're able to get this bit of an overview about where everyone's actually heading to. It's really good to do. Don't know what this unit's doing right here. Maybe they're, uh, they know something that I don't. My one general, you as well, sir. No so here's one of the things that I'll generally do. When we're getting into Glory position, away. I'll highlight everyone and I'll go straight forward with... Oh, well, in fact, we've got rapid advance now, so let's do that go, to start go. with. That's going to increase our movement by 20%. As we're still staying on the roads, we're not going to get any sort of negative modifiers by being in the forest area, which is always great. And it allows us to catch up with people a little bit ahead of us. So let's carry on this way. Part of me still wishes that the camera would uh, be a little bit more flexible. So I'm just going to put things on this point right now. This is sort of the height I like to play at. So in front of us we've got Ajax and we have some more people coming this way. So we're going fairly strong. We've met the majority of their army in the hot gates and they've got some support on that side. So my only concern is this is open. I don't like this being open. Um, what I'm going to do, my destiny General, no one. we're going to get our General and he's going to stay back. We're going to put the hammer on him as well. He's going to move double time. And that's only because I've seen this. Look, we've got so many people here, no one is watching the forest at all. We could easily get people in and we've met the enemy here. Brilliant. Okay. So we are just going to stop here. Now hopefully we'll be slightly out of view. So if we press these guys a little bit much, we can come round the corner and actually help them out a little bit. Meanwhile, we've got to keep our eye on the general because he is out of sight right now. He's still heading down, which is fine. As of yet, we haven't run into anyone. We'll keep our eye on the minimap. We've zoomed out as far as we can in order to get a little bit extra view. Okay. So I believe it's time to get round. They're now routed. We've not taken any casualties. Unfortunately, that means our score is very low because we haven't actually been in combat yet. And you know what? I'm fine with that. What I generally find with this game is if you rush in straight away, you're going to get demolished straight away. That's as simple as. I like to hang about a little bit, so that way the units I tend to engage are then units that are already down a little bit on um, on health. As you can see here, we already have some routes. So I'm going to send these guys in a little bit. We're going to just totally finish these guys off, try and get a few points. And we'll leave you guys back there in support. We're not going to use charge or anything like that. We're just going to go in as standard. Try and build things up a little bit there. Oh, see? Exactly what I said. Look what's happening. They're coming through the forest. So that being said, I'm going to get one of our units down. And we're going to try and get them down as quick as we can. Come on down. Right, so they're on the way, so essentially we have to hold on. So we've got three units coming down here. We've got two of spears, one of swords. Um, this is where we need to send out an SOS. So we see what we can do. If we can engage them, we need to hold them up a little bit. So let's go around and try and hold them. Let's get rapid advance on, get there a lot quicker than they're expecting us to. And let's push on. They've got space, so we're going to want to try and charge them as quick as we can. They're not going to do anything, they're just going to run. Hopefully they're going to run right the way back into our reinforcements. So we'll switch focus onto these and we'll get ready for our hammer charge. Engage it. There we go. So that's gone okay for us. Where's our reinforcements? Here they are. Excellent. Going to get our charge on. 
Yes, we've used that a little bit soon, but hey, that's what we've got to do. Meanwhile, we're here. We're going to start bringing these guys back as well. That's fine. I'm happy with that. And we'll get them sitting just there. We're going to put them in advance and hammer at the same time. We're getting peppered here, but they're taking their eye off the ball. We're going to hopefully get them in the back. We're routed, though. Our general is routed. That's a shame. But we're going to cost... It's going to cost them, though. 764 is our score right now. They're heading on into base. We're going to do smart thing. We're going to hold up. And we're going to wait for our reinforcements to come back now. Uh, they're all the way here. They're not too far away at all. We're going to make sure we're out of their range. Yep, they're heading directly to our base. But mind you, so are our reinforcements. Oh, they were. Come on guys, you need to get down here. Get out of the forest. Alright, we're going to start pushing up now. We've got a little bit of speed as well. Um, duration on cooldown is only 30 seconds, which isn't too bad at all. It's going to allow us to sort of outmaneuver them a little bit, which is what I'm hoping anyway. In the meantime, these guys really need to uh, hurry up and get down to us. So, so far, oh, we've got some units coming on the other side as well. They are actually being chased, which is fine. Yep, we've broken the left side. We're going to do the counter into their base. All we need to do is hold these guys up here, hopefully. Go on, two seconds. Get pushing, boys. There we go. That should be enough of a distance between us. Let us get pushed back into base. They might have gone just for the centre. There they are. So we can see them now. They're going to pepper us with shots, but this first unit are hopefully going to take out most of them in terms of their attention. Let's do rapid advance. They weren't expecting that. They're already on the run. Get running, people. Our reinforcements, we'll get them on rapid advance. We need to get them into the centre sooner rather than later. And they're going to have more men coming around this way. So keep an eye out here in the moment. Here they come. We'll do the charge. We'll take them out really quickly. Come on, guys. You need to get in here. And that's fine. So we're going to try and get in here and flank round this way because these guys are hopefully are going to get themselves stuck a little bit. So once these are beaten, there we go. Get yourselves round there, guys. And we're going to try and push them. We're going to try and push them all the way back here and they're going to run into our second reinforcements. Now they should be a little bit blind to this and we should have a bit more speed on things. There we go. So they've just noticed that we're here. So we can... Oh, we're just out of range for charge so I'm not going to waste it. But they weren't expecting that. We just need someone to come in on this side. Anyone at all. And we're not going to be silly. We're going to hold back one of our armies. And we're going to leave them there. So one of our units... Let's bring them round this way. Let's try and shepherd them a little bit. If we can get our second unit over this side. You guys keep on going. You're not going to turn, so we're going to head you straight this way. Going to hit the charge. Oh, we can catch you in the back. Let's charge that. So we've got them a little bit there. That's fine. We should be able to catch the rest of them on this side now. So we're just going to pull round the back try and get this. They've sacrificed one unit, so they have gotten away from us. We should be able to catch them all. If we carry on using our boosts, um, it's going to be about 30 seconds before we have that. We're going uphill, so you never know. We're going to take them. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's go ahead and just get piercing blows activated. That's going to give us extra armor. It's, our speed is going to be pants though, but that's fine. So they're going around this way. We're going to try and cut them off on this side of the camp. In the meantime, let's increase our speeds. Let's make them worried a little bit. Understood. Here we go, and we've got a charge as well now, so that's fine. We need to be within a certain distance before we activate, and I don't want to waste it at all. We're going to get you all the way over there. You need to hurry up though, guys. By your command. Right, so we're both going downhill. We might get a slight little boost here. When they get to the bottom of the hill, um, we are still on the hill. 
Now as you see it's fairly even at the moment, it's 93 seconds before we can speed up again. But this is fine, we're not going to charge just yet, we're not in range, we need to be about half that distance before we even attempt it. These guys are totally out of range so there's not much point us doing anything with that. Um, there we go, we've got a little bit of a catch up there which is good. So essentially we need to wait about 70 seconds. We're going to leave you guys here. If you guys can actually do something that would be fantastic. Go on. No, oh, that was a shame. Yeah, so we're chasing them. We're chasing them down. We're going to keep on at that. As you can see, we've done most of the damage there as a team. Our team's okay. In terms of the enemy, they've lost one person. We've lost one. That's fair enough. For some reason, we've stopped. We need to keep up the chase, boys. Okay, that's fair enough. So it looks like we've got an ally, Gummy Mix. He's coming in to try and take care of them on this side, which is nice of him. If he can catch them, which I think he's going to, that's going to be excellent. Just stop them, that's good. Well done, mate. Oh, did you not catch any of them? My word. Well, that was a waste. Um, it looks like we've got some troops on this side. We're going to bring over our reinforcements onto one side. We can't just be chasing these guys forever. But, as it would have, we've got Rapid Advance back again. So let's do that. That's going to boost us a little bit. Come on, boys. It looks like we stopped just in the nick of time there. <laughs> uh, we took a little bit of damage, but um, we should be catching these now. Now we've got 20% bonus on acceleration, 10% uh, on speed turn, and 10% on speed. We should be able to catch these. Come on. My word. Where is this artillery? I don't like it at all. We're going to pull back. Now this is one of the things that you generally got to do. We're going to hit hammer. As soon as we see something in the air, there it is. Let's hammer out. And by doing that, we avoided being hit as hard as we would have been. We've still taken a lot of damage though, in all honesty. But I like hammer a lot. It's a, it's a good thing. It's offensive. It's defensive to get out of there as well. And in combination with rapid advance, I think it's really good. I'll probably be leveling up rapid advance as well because it's something that I, um, I actually really like. So let's get things at the back here, um, 227, uh, sorry 227, 2 minutes 27 left and um, they're winning. Um, we're going to have to push them, all these artillery though, it's, um, it really grinds on me. This is where cavalry comes into place, we're going to have to sort of press it a little bit. Come on gentlemen, everyone needs to be pushing now gonna try and take these guys so what we're gonna try and do is lure them into attacking these on the left side and we're gonna try and push these ones out this way you need to be careful of them at all where are they in fact let's get over here yeah they've got a lot of troops coming this way see we're being peppered on that side that's fine keep on peppering go for rapid advance If we can get, try and get some of them at least, they're running. Just going to turn them at the last minute. Get the charge on, that's good for us. We're going to go ahead and charge these straight away there, bringing in reinforcements. Oh, there's a giant willy. <laughs> and we'll get the charge on that side as well. That's good, so hopefully they've got the flanked and they've been routed. That's brilliant for us. Um, we're still not going to win this, I don't think. We've got a minute left. Is anyone? No one's capping at all. It's actually not too many people left by the looks of it. So what we want to do is go ahead and we want piercing blows. We want to get as much as we can out of this. Get rid of uh, cost abs as quickly as we can. Um, in terms of this, he's probably going to win this. We've been routed. There we go, so all our units have been lost. Do we want to exit the battle now? And the answer is no. We're going to watch it for the last 30 seconds. Um, it's really unfortunate when things like that happen. It looks like we had a good game plan. Our team were going wrong. We broke them on this side. I don't know what happened once they went there. No idea. I think what generally happened is the fact that we left the middle open. So we left this forest. 
I identified it, others did, and as a result, we've lost this. So you win some, you lose some. That's the good thing about this game. Every battle, you learn something. And what I've learned this time is uh, keep an eye on forests. Forests are dangerous. So even though we've managed to get some commander XP, we've got ourselves a little bit of silver. Obviously, when we suffer a defeat, that's not too good. But enemies killed, 164, soldiers lost, 289. And that shows us one thing, that we need to have some form of cover in terms of ranged weaponry. So we're going to replenish all the units, and what we're going to do, or what we've learned this time, if anything, I would like to upgrade this in the future, but you can see how expensive it is. So maybe sometime we'll do that, but not today. So that's it for another episode guys, hope you all enjoying the Total War Arena coverage. If you're liking the episodes, you know what to do. Raise those thumbs.